hi welcome to the third video in the playlist called how to create your own indicators and export advisors so in this video you're going to learn what we can create using meta editor so there are more than three ways you can open your meta editor and i'm going to show you these three ways so the first way to open your meta editor is simply click on the search icon if you're using windows 10 okay once you do that simply type in meta editor and it's going to come and simply click on it and it's going to open what is the other way of opening meta editor well simply open your files okay when you open your files simply open your c drive and as i said yesterday i'm using a 64-bit system so simply open program files and open the roof i'm using the roof metadata 5 so i'm going to double click on it and you're going to see meta editor 64 bit simply double click on it to open it okay so this is the second way of opening meta editor and what is the last way of opening meta editor the last way is by simply open your meta trader 5 as for me i still use the real meta trader 5 so i'm going to open my meta trader 5 okay once you open the metadata file, what you have to do is simply click where it's written IDE. So what is IDE? This simply stands for Integrated Development Environment. Okay, it's an editor you can use to write code. So I'm going to click on it. So when I click on it, the IDE, the meta editor is going to open. So I have showed you three ways you can actually use to open meta editor. I'm sure there are more but simply choose which one you think is fast but i think this one is the fastest one okay so now this comes back to our today's video which is about what can we create using meta editor okay and i'm going to show you exactly what we can do and i'm going to explain what exactly we can create using meta editor so what you have to do is simply open your meta editor using the ways I just show you. So what you're going to do is simply click on file to start a new or a new project. So for now, I'm going to click on new project. Then you're going to be asked like, what would you like to create? Okay, so you can create an expert advisor using a template. Expert advisors generate custom indicator script service library or something empty. Okay. So what you're going to do is, so first of all, let me try to explain what these are. So what is an expert advisor? We are an expert advisor, also known as EA. Okay, they are programs that run on the Meta Editor platform. Okay, so they are, or they are, they run on MetaTrader 4 or 5. But in this case, we're going to be creating MetaTrader 5 expert advisors and they are used to monitor and trade financial markets using algorithms but not all expert advisors monitor not all trade financial markets so i've got an example of an expert advisor i created it's actually on my online store it's called mt5 price notifier so what this indicator does is that you simply draw an horizontal line on your chart and when price crosses that line it notifies you via email via pop-ups via sound updates and via telegram when price crosses that line so this is actually an expert advisor it does not trade for you it simply monitors when price crosses the horizontal line you've drawn on the chart and it notifies you okay so let's get back to our meta editor then custom indicator what is a custom indicator so this is a program independently um, developed in meta code language by anyone and functioning as a technical indicator i'm sure you already know about what a custom indicator is and we've been using a lot of custom indicators and i also do have a custom indicator i recommend everyone downloading it's called the roof repo the link to it is actually in the description so the other thing you can create is actually a script so what is a script well this is a program written in meta code language and intended only for a single performing of any action so a script can actually fulfill both analytical and trading functions 
Unlike export advisors, scripts are executed on request and not on ticks. Okay. Then the other thing you can actually create is a service. So what is a service? This is a type of it's a new type that enables the creation of custom price feeds for the terminal okay that is to implement price delivery from external systems in real time just like it is here like it is implemented on broker storage servers so we're not going to be working with this very much okay the other thing can actually create the library so, so how can i explain this okay simply consider it by like some source code or reusable source code you can actually use in other indicators say let's say you create an indicator today and tomorrow you have to create another indicator so instead of writing code from scratch you can actually copy some code from the library that is written from scratch so it's more like some code you can actually use for other indicators in your future projects and so on okay and a library what is a library that's exactly what i'm telling you about then empty if you do not want to choose any of these things you go with empty and write anything you want but for now we're going to choose what we'd like to create so what they're going to be learning with we are first going to learn how you can create a simple indicator from there we're going to work with more advanced stuff like expert advisors working with scripts and include files so the other thing i didn't explain about is an include file so for that what you're supposed to do is click on file and click on new and what what's called include so what is an include file so an include file as you can imagine can be used to add source code and functions from other files to your own program so assume that you've got some functions that you use here and there in your indicators and export advisors Perhaps it is a function to calculate the lot size or to check for open uh, orders or to move the stop loss and so on. So if this is the case, you can define these functions in an include file and then use that file in your indicator or your export advisor by invoking the include directive. So this is good. You can actually save your time and also keep your programs shorter. So new class, we're not going to be working with this. Python scripts, Python is a programming language, we're not going to be using this much unless required. Database, not really, unless required, we might. So what is a service? I didn't talk about a service. So for now, now that I've explained what we can create with Metadata Editor, it's time to create our simple indicator. So uh, this video has really gone far. So the next video will be about creating our first simple indicator in for MetaTrader 5. So make sure that you like this video if you learned something from it. For more videos like this, go on and subscribe. Okay, and remember to turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So this is a free video in this playlist on how to create your own indicators. It's going to have a lot of videos. So Remember, the link to this playlist is in the description. Bye for now.